The development of polyphony. For centuries, Western music was basically monophonic, only having one single line. But sometime between 700 and 900 AD, the first steps were taken in a revolution that eventually transformed Western music. Monks in monastery choirs began to add a second melodic line to the Gregorian chant. In the beginning, the second line was improvised, not written down. It duplicated the chant melody, but at a different pitch. Note against note at the interval of a fourth or a fifth. That would sound something like this. That's this. Here's fourths. Medieval music that consists of Gregorian chant and one or more additional melodic lines is called an organum. Between 900 and 1200, organum became truly polyphonic and the melody was added to the chant became more independent. Instead of moving strictly parallel with the chant, it developed a melodic curve of its own. Sometimes the line was in contrary motion to the chant, moving up, as the chant moved down, the second line became even more independent around 1100, when the chant and the added melody were no longer restricted to note against note style. The School of Notre Dame and Measured Rhythm. After 1150, Paris, the intellectual and artistic capital of Europe, became the center of polyphonic music. The University of Paris attracted leading scholars, and the Cathedral of Notre Dame which was begun in 1163 was the supreme monument to Gothic architecture. Two successive choir masters of Notre Dame, Leon and Puritan, were among the first notable composers known by name. They and their followers are referred to as the School of Notre Dame. From about 1170 to 1200, the Notre Dame composers developed rhythmic innovations, Early polyphonic music was probably performed in the free, unmeasured rhythms of Gregorian chant. But the music of Leon and Priatin used measured rhythm with definite time values and clearly defined meter. For the first time in music history, notation indicated precise rhythms as well as pitches. At first, the new notation was limited to only certain rhythmic patterns and the beat had to be subdivided into threes, the symbol of trinity. Despite these limitations, much fine polyphonic music was composed during the late 12th century and 13th century. 